bring up our MC for the evening. This guy is a very funny guy. He's played clubs and college. He's also an independent filmmaker. Put your hands together for Kyle Schickner, everybody. How's everyone doing today? We doing good? Yeah. Thank you for coming out right before the storm. Storm is going to hit? No storm tonight? By the way, this is just Danielle's show. This is just it. Danielle's show. Yourself. A few ground rules. Okay, just a few ground rules. You're at a comedy show. Okay, this isn't a TED talk. This is not a, a mandatory HR meeting because uh, Brenda felt uh, Bob's eyes lingered on her breast a little bit too long. We're here to have some fun. We're here to have some fun. And some, someone may say something that's going to be maybe like, oh, it'll offend you. It's okay, let it go. Let it just pass. We're going to have this nothing. We're just going to have fun, okay? That being said, Israel. No, I'm kidding. I'm not stuck in with that. Um, so, uh, there's stuff on my mind. I, I, my mom died early this year. Aww. Yeah, you know. That, what's, no, no, well, it depends if it, according to my father, might be. But no, uh, she died a little while back. Um, and uh, I, I always like to keep things light when I host. Um, <laughs> but look, I mean, hey, listen, she was 84, she had a good run, you know, but enough was enough. You know, that's no. a lot of visits to the nursing home. No, I'm kidding. She, 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 uh, she was great. My, uh, it, it's hard losing a parent. It really is. I mean, I'm sure a lot of us have been through that. But what I'm finding actually harder than actually losing my mom is uh, having to deal with my dad's, uh, his newfound... Bachelorhood, I guess you'd call it. I don't know what it would be. You know, I, and, and again, don't get me wrong, okay? I have no problem with companionship. I really don't. If he wants to find someone to hang out and, and watch reruns of Matlock all day long on the couch, go for it, Dad. I, I'm totally for that. But see, that is that is not what's happening. Not at all. Okay, so so my mom died, and, you know, for a while. My, 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 obviously, my, he was depressed and sad and lonely, and, but he said he was getting better. You know, I was good. One day he calls me up. He's like, uh, hey, Kyle, how you doing? I'm like, I'm good, Dad. How you doing? Uh, yeah, yeah, Kyle, I'm doing good. Uh, hey, Kyle, remember that time when uh, my legs were hurting real bad and I couldn't I couldn't sleep at night? So yeah, Dad, I remember. I remember. I goes, yeah, and you took me down to that, uh, that real sketchy part of the neighborhood, to that uh, suppository, and you got me those gummies. <laughs> I said, well, it's actually a deposit. It's a dispensary, Dad. Not a suppository, it's a whole different thing. But yeah, I remember. And he said, uh, I said, well, I, what, what, what did they work? Oh, Kyle, like a charm, like a charm. They were great. Okay. You need more? No, no, Kyle, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> All right, Dad, Dad, well, everything okay? Ah, geez, Kyle, this is embarrassing. I shouldn't even call you with this. He said, Dad, I'm your favorite son. <laughs> you could tell me anything. And that, sir, that was my mistake. That sentence right there. Should have never said that. Because, uh, because if I had, he wouldn't have continued. He goes, ah, all right, Kyle. So uh, remember I've been telling you I've been having uh, breakfast every once in a while with my lady friend? You see where this is going? I'm like, yeah, Dad, I remember. See, I didn't see where this is going. I'm like, oh, yeah, Dad, I remember. He's like, yeah, well, uh, she slept over last night. I'm like, that's okay, Dad. You guys still sleep on the couch? I'm sure. No, Kyle. She slept in my bed Ooh. with me. Ooh. What I should have done, what I should have done, I should have just taken oh, the gosh. phone, walked over to the bathroom, and dropped the phone in the toilet. <laughs> had I done that, I wouldn't have had to hear the next sentence, which is tattooed in my brain. He's like, uh, yeah, Kyle, uh, I just, uh, I don't know, I, I had a little problem. I couldn't perform. <laughs> I'm thinking, perform? Are those two putting some kind of act together I'm not aware of? Is there gonna be like a talent show over at the Shady Pines? I'm gonna get an email, like, come see this. No, 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 so, so and, and, and now he's going full hog. And why not? Because this asshole said, you can tell me whatever you want. So what's going on? And then he's like, he's like, yeah, Kyle, but I think it's okay because uh, she said, uh, I made her feel good with all the other things I did to her. <laughs> all the other things. All the other, this son of a bitch takes 10 minutes to get up off the couch, and suddenly it's 50 shades of gray over at the assisted living community. So I blacked out. <laughs> I 
blacked out. And when I came to, he's asking me if I will get him some Viagra. I said, Dad, I love you. I do. I do. And I, I will get you all the gummies you need for your life. Hell, I will go and I will see that really shady man who hangs out under the overpass, and I will score you more crystal meth that would make Walter White feel jealous. <laughs> but I am never, ever, ever, ever getting my dad penis pills. <laughs> so I got my dad penis pills. <laughs> what am I going to do? How many more good days has he got left? I know, but I started going to a couple more therapy sessions a week, so it's balancing out. So I think I think I'm, I'm dealing with it well. And, and he's dealing with him now. It's it's insane because he met my mom when he was 16. So his dating his dating emotional mentality is is arrested at 16 years old. So when you talk to him about these women, he's not talking like some wise and old man who's got all this wisdom to impart. He's like this insecure, pimply faced kid who doesn't know how to talk to women. And he'll call me up all the ah, Kyle, I know, this is a mistake. I don't know what I'm doing. What's the matter with that? I, God, she's too old for me. I said, Dad, what are you, you're two years younger than me. Ah, still, Kyle, it's, just, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Then he's, oh, Kyle, I'm, I, I'm falling apart, Kyle. She doesn't need that. I said, falling apart? Isn't that a prerequisite of where you're at? You guys are all falling apart. <laughs> and then the final, the, 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 today he calls me. He's like, uh, Kyle, guess what? Uh, this, i got to break up with her. First of all, break up. That's, so what do you mean you break up? Uh, Kyle, I, her last boyfriend, he was really wealthy, and he used to take her out and buy you things. I can't afford that. I'm on a fixed income. <laughs> My dad, what? Okay, now I'm trying to wrestle. What, what happened with that last relationship? Uh, he, stage four lung cancer he's got. <laughs> My dad, so My dad is jealous of someone in hospice. That's what's happening here. That's how insecure this guy is. So I just said, said, Dad, listen, here's my advice on that. Just give it a few weeks. I have a feeling it's going to work itself out. You don't have to worry about that guy showing up. Um, so uh, I drove across country with my kids this, this summer. And we stopped at uh, Dollywood. Anyone been to Dollywood? It's amazing. It's unbelievable. You see, who saw Dolly in that outfit? That was impressive, right? So I, I, would you would you put that on? Not at my weight, but I'm oh my! Yeah. Please, I would I would pay a lot to see that. <laughs> a lot to see that. Well, you, can chip, I, chip, I need an advance. Can I have my fifteen dollars back? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so we go to Dollywood. We're having a great time with the family, and you know we're in the pool, and uh, we're having a great time. And this this woman swims up to me, and she smiles. She goes, "I'm sorry to bother you, but." Uh, are you Governor Chris Christie? No. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Shit. I, and, 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 and vacation ruined. Yes, go kids. We're going home. Let's go. So I'm like, what? She's. Like, I said. So and, and what's upsetting to me is, isn't that like this woman who clearly has trouble with her eyesight is confusing me with you know this guy that who, who I don't agree with politically and whose whose bullying behavior doesn't make me. Feel like I want to be related to that guy. What's upsetting to me is she thinks I'm Chris Christie, and Chris Christie is—he's fat. He's fat. Okay, let's just say, okay, and not P H A T, F A T. And there's this woman confusing me with the with the ex, with the ex governor of New Jersey, and she's asking for an autograph. So I signed the brochure. I don't want to disappoint her. And I said, I said, listen, I hear you go, sweetie, and I, and I was like, you know, just so you know. Just, I, I put on a little extra Chris here. Just so you know, I'm actually a Democrat and I voted for Hillary. Oh, shit. Confused the shit out of her. I can imagine she's back home in Tennessee. She's like, I met Governor Chris Chris. I could you believe what he told me? He voted for Hillary? So, uh, so anyway, I, I, I'm doing these, uh, I'm, too, I'm old. I'm not as old as my dad, but I'm old. And I'm trying to figure out these, uh, these uh, dating apps. I don't think I, I don't think it's for me. I, I don't. There's too much swiping and lifting and this and so. I, so here's so I match with this person. Right, we're talking and you know it's uh, you know it, it's not. We're back and forth. We're talking back and forth. And then it starts to get a little, little intimate, a little sexy, but nothing crazy. I'm not gonna embarrass you. Don't worry. Um, I saw his like, car come and she's like, fuck no, fuck no, get away from me. I've seen this on TV. Don't worry, I'm not gonna ask you anything. Um. Uh, I will do say this, that my, my penis is very much like my politics, it leans to the left. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, that's not my point. So, so, uh, so, so, we're, so we're talking, then she asked me, she's like, hey, who's the most famous person you've ever 
uh, had sex with. And I'm like, well, you know, so I text back. I'm like, oh, is this like the C-list, um, you know, really at reality star, you know, that's it. So now I know I gotta ask her, who, because that's what she, that's why she asked me. She wants me to now say it's gonna be like, you know, uh, a Helmsworth, a Hel uh, one of the one of the Thor, or it's gonna be some some fucking guy. I gotta now realize, great, this is what she's looking for. So I said, oh, great. Who's the most famous person here? She tells me Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> And you know what's, and then I'm sitting there thinking, okay, I don't know what's more upsetting that she had sex with Rudy Giuliani or that she thinks it's okay to tell me she had sex with Rudy Giuliani. I, I'm like, what the fuck? And now I'm like, and now, and she could tell I got cold because now I'm like, now I'm not, I'm not she's, I'm leaving her, like, you know, I'm not responding. And she's like, oh, I, I you know, I, I just, I just, you know, I, didn't, I don't know anything about his politics. I didn't know anything. I'm thinking, his politics, that's like number eight on the concern that you fuck Rui Giuliani is that he's a little conservative. There's a lot of other problems going on. So anyway, so that's my, uh, I'm gonna stop dating, um, unless, the, I got it, got, message received, message received, story of my life. Um, I'm actually married and uh, this is, uh, I'm gonna move this on because uh, the reality is reminds me of what my wife said to me during a threesome, she said, Kyle, <laughs> Stop trying so hard. No one is here for you. 